السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الذي لا إله سواه والحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه حمدا يليق بجلال وجهه وبعظيم سلطانه وبجزيل نعمائه والصلاة والسلام على نبيه المجتبى المصطفى الصادق الأمين الرسول المبين المبعوث رحمة للعالمين وعلى آله الطاهرين الطيبين وأصحابه الغر الميامين والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم اجعلنا منهم وقضى الله لك ولنا كل خير as his name is Yasir, may Allah Azza wa Jal makes, make everything easy of virtue for him and for us. And as his name is Al-Qadhi, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decree and destine himself and ourselves to everything that is good and virtuous. Indeed, we cannot give of something if we do not own of it. فاقد الشيء لا يعطيه The one who does not possess something cannot dispense of it. If I do not have peace inside of my heart, I cannot give peace outside of me. Allah Azza wa Jal says, Inna Allah la yughayiru ma bi qawmin hatta yughayiru ma bi anfusihim. Verily, God, Allah, does not change the state of a people until they change that which is within themselves. Until I change my heart to be at peace with the source of peace. I cannot scoop of peace and give of it to the one thirsty for peace. My dear brothers and sisters, if I am not tranquil and serene inside of me, I cannot give it to those outside of me. I cannot even give it to my own self if within me I am not. If I externally may look at peace, may sound at peace, and internally I am not at peace, I am that which was spoken about these moments earlier one who does things with ostentation, with riya, with lack of ikhlas to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Second, because I need to be at peace inside of me for me to be happy in this world before the hereafter. And that peace is first of all the peace with God through the tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through the affirmation of divine oneness inside of me. What is shirk? And Ibrahim, our father, is the father of Islam, is the father of loving surrender of soul, spirit, heart and mind, and limbs and senses to the divine. He was not a mushrik. He was the ultimate muwahid. Alayhi salawatullahi wa salamah. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, and the ayah was recited earlier beautifully, الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَلَمْ يَلْبِسُوا إِيمَانَهُمْ بِظُلْمٍ 
أولئك لهم الأمن وهم مهتدون As a matter of fact, this is said in Surah Al-An'am in the context of the story of Ibrahim alayhi salam. And at the end, this is said by Allah Azza wa Jal, but maybe also through the tongue of Ibrahim alayhi wa ala rasulina salatu wa salam. Alladheena amanu wa lam yalbisu imanahum bi dhulm. Those who have iman, those whose hearts are in faith, in Iman. And second, and did not blemish, did not stain, did not blemish their Iman, their faith, with dhulm. Dhulm literally is oppression, transgression, injustice. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explained dhulm, injustice, transgression, in this ayah, by saying that dhulm in this ayah is shirk. For Allah says in the Quran elsewhere, inna shirka la dhulmun azim. Verily, shirk is a momentous act of transgression or injustice. When the person has iman, tawheed of Allah azza wa jal, iman not blemished with shirk, and shirk is the opposite of tawheed. Shirk is the opposite of tawheed. When in your heart or mine, there is the presence of the divine, there is iman without my heart being attached to any other than Allah. Shirk, in a generic sense, is when my heart, wal-iyadh billah, or yours, is attached to other than God, to other than Allah, other than Allah. Kullu ma siwa Allah, ghayru Allah. Fa'idha ta'allaqa qalbi bima siwa Allah, thalika shirk. If my heart attaches itself to other than God, and every created thing is other than God, if my attachment in my heart, experientially, emotionally, not only intellectually, is other than Allah, and not by Allah, for Allah, those attachments, then that is shirk. And when there is shirk inside of the heart of a creature, that creature is not at peace. الذين آمنوا ولم يلبسوا إيمانهم بظلم أولئك لهم الأمن سبحان الله those will have security and peace and tranquility inside of them and in their lives they I mean by that at a really experiential psychological emotional levels that sometimes you or I feel depressed feel in agony feel very low and feel insecure and sometimes anxious and depressed. Do you know why sometimes? The root of that oftentimes is the presence inside of your heart or mine, an attachment for other than Allah and not by Allah, through Allah, for Allah the root of most psychological ailments is a defect or a mediocrity or absence of full attachment, of volition, of will, of love, of hope, of desire for other than Allah, for other than God. الذين آمنوا ولم يلبسوا إيمانهم بظلم أولئك لهم الأمن وهم مهتدون. Sometimes, therefore, my dear sisters and brothers, when and if you or I feel down and depressed, and there seems to be no reason why, look into, and I shall look into, your توحيد and mine. 
not only academic and intellectual, but emotional as well and experiential. Ibrahim was the epitome. Ibrahim was the most beautiful expression of loving surrender, of loving attachment to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah alone. It is said that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to give him everything, Allah wanted to give him himself, God himself. When he wanted to give him the ultimate into his life, into his heart, into his soul, God saw in his heart something else he loved legitimately. But it was Ibrahim. And I was asked to talk about Ibrahim's surrender. Ibrahim alayhi salam loved his son. Whether it was Ishaq or Ismail, it does not matter. He loved him, them, very much. Legitimate love. The son was beautiful. The son was so spiritual, so moral, so beautiful in heart and in soul and in words and in comportments and in behavior. Allahu Akbar. Qurratu Ain. The Qurrat Ain of every righteous parent is to have a child like Ismail or like Ishaq. And it was the only child at the time, Ismail. Allahu Akbar. It is said Allah saw that love, that attachment legitimate in the heart of Ibrahim. Allah tells him, slaughter the son. Allahu Akbar. Why? Leave inside of you nothing to be attached to at your level except me. Kill inside of you everything else besides me. Kill inside your drives, inside your volitions, inside your desires, inside your love. Kill everything but me. You and I need to kill the demons inside of us. The hate inside of us. The passions inside of us. The evil inclinations inside of us. That we sometimes disguise in, as we claim, beautiful intents. And they are ugly inclinations of the self. The intent was not that Ibrahim kills the son. The intent was not that the son to be, was to be killed. The intent was that Ibrahim and the son kill everything inside of them but their love for Allah. To be actualized in reality. Then Allah gives them himself. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And therefore Ibrahim became the Khalil of Allah. The Khalil of Allah. The most beloved to Allah. For Allah was to him the most beloved to the extent that the true love of Ibrahim pierced, tahallala, pierced through the innermost recesses of the soul of Ibrahim, of the heart of Ibrahim. قَدْ تَخَلَّلْتَ مَسْلَكَ الرُّوحِ مِنِّي وَبِذَا سُمِّيَ الْخَلِيلُ خَلِيلًا As one poet said, you have pierced through the innermost of my inner self. 
and therefore a Khalil was named Khalid because the beloved was present in the innermost recesses of the heart and nothing else and nothing else and then he was given everything Ibrahim is the father of Islam Islam is not what my tongue speaks in the true sense of Islam in the haqiqa meaning of Islam when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was asked as Imam Ahmed and others relate when he was asked Mal Islam ya Rasulullah what is Islam O oh, Messenger of Allah he replied sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam al Islam an yuslima qalbuka lillahi ta'ala al Islam an yuslima qalbuka lillahi ta'ala Islam is when your heart in all love surrenders completely to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala your heart your drives your emotions your feelings your love your hope your fear all lovingly surrender themselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not my tongue only not my academic intellectual drives only for I could be intellectually claiming Islam but emotionally and experientially I am not I could be scholarly ways in scholarly ways expressing myself as a Muslim but I'm in reality not Iblis as the scholars say had a lot of knowledge of Allah Azza wa Jal and he was in the divine presence in some ways and yet that did not penetrate the deepest recesses of his heart it did not transform him so that he becomes one who represents divine beauty with the creation my dear brothers and sisters al islam an yuslima qalbuka lillahi ta'ala the legacy of Ibrahim, our father, nothing, his heart was broken, was broken by the shovels of working hard to know and to practice and to disengage and to detach from within himself everything else but Allah Azza wa Jal, the father of Islam. And I am, and you are, to be the children of Ibrahim. That we understand Islam in this way. And it has practical consequences. Of the practical consequences of a true surrender of heart, not only I emphasize of intellect, a true surrender of heart to Allah Azza wa Jal, there are practical consequences, real consequences of that is that people are safe from my hand and my tongue. That people are safe from my might, my power, whether it is physical, athletic, political, military, financial, economic, my power, emotional, my power that I have over my children as a father or a mother, my power that as a child that I have over my parents because parents love their children and they are weak in front of their children so the child has power over his parents in this indirect subtle ways and sometimes the child as an adolescent or an adult knows that and abuses that power all sorts of power 
spiritual power, religious power, military power, political power, my hand, when all feel safe from my power and my tongue. The vociferous words, the venomous ver words that sometimes my tongue unleashes in my relationship with my mother, my father, my children, my siblings, my friends, my neighbors, those whom with whom I agree, those with whom I disagree, I unleash the power of my tongue to hurt them. To hurt them in so many ways. My tongue becomes a scorpion, a snake. Once I let it loose, it begins to bite. But someone said, if I let it loose, it begins by biting me. So I must control it as a Muslim. When the heart is in Islam, the senses are in Islam. If the senses seem to be in Islam, it does not mean that the heart is in Islam. That means the Islam that the Bedouins claimed, or the Iman that the Bedouins claimed to have, was not an Iman that is Islam of the heart. It was an Islam, a surrender of the external senses to the law. I could surrender to the law, but my heart does not. I am not the Muslim in the path of Ibrahim, alayhi salam nor in the path of the most beautiful representation of divine beauty on earth, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِي وَنُسُكِي وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِي لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهِ وَبِذَلِكَ أُمِرْتُ وَأَنَا أَوَّلُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is to say and said and lived. Say, verily my salah. Salah is much more than prayer. Prayer and more. Salah is when your heart is in divine presence. As salah to mi'raj al-mu'min. When we are in salah, we are supposed to rise, to ascend spiritually to the nearness of Allah Azza wa Jal, to a greater awareness inside of us of Allah Azza wa Jal. قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِي That salah. وَنُسُكِي And my sacrifices and my living, not my life, محياي. My living and where I live, مَعِيشَتِي مَحْيَايَ The elements of my living, the times of my living, the actions of my living, the omissions in my living, my living second by second as action, and mamati, and my dying, not just my death, my dying, are all for God, for Allah Azza wa Imagine you and me as that Muslim who lives every heartbeat of his or hers in this consciousness and awareness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in everything and that he watches inside of you inside of your heart and you live every second inside of you and publicly in secret and in public what you harbor inside of you and what you share outside of you all done in awareness and consciousness of the fact that God, Allah Azza wa knows and sees and hears inside of me. And when I am like this, I am at peace. I am nearest to the source of peace, who is God, Allah Azza wa And if I am next to the source of peace in my qalb, then I am at peace. 
When I am distant from the source of peace, from the well of the water of peace and of life, I cannot drink from it. I cannot scoop and give to others. I am not at peace. I am not in security. I am not happy. I am not free. And thus, I cannot teach those to others. I can only talk about them, perhaps. Ya Allah. Allahumma inni da'ifun فَقَوِّ فِي رِضَاكَ ضَعْفِي وَخُذْ إِلَى الْخَيْرِ بِنَاصِيَتِي وَجْعَلِ الْإِسْلَامَ مُنْتَهَى رِضَاي As the dua, as the supplication, the prayer that Rasulullah is related to have taught when he said what means, O oh Allah, I am weak, please, change my weakness into strength in what pleases you. And take me by my forelock to what is virtuous. And let Islam, that means the total loving, true surrender of my heart to you, be my ultimate desire and my ultimate destination. Ameen. Wa sallallahumma wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa as-sahbihi ajma'een. Allahumma tahir qulubana wa amir rawaatina wa astur awratina wa ruddana ilayka raddan jameela. Allahumma ja'alna na'abuduka ka'annana naraak. Allahumma la tumitna illa wa qad araytana wa arayta qulubana من توحيدك ومن حبك ما تقر له قلوبنا آمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته وراء عن سر الكون يحدثنا الله تعالى أنزله ورسوله